All right, what is up guys? Today's gonna be something a little different. We're gonna be uh, messing with some push mowers today. Last time I had the one running that I'm trying to get running. Uh, it was low on power, wouldn't cut, barely wouldn't cut uh, a blade of grass. So we're gonna try to get that one going. I got two of the same mowers. One's, one's just, you push it. And then the other one, well, I guess you obviously push both of them, but one's self-propelled. So I'm trying to get that one working. But anyways, uh, last, like I said, last time I had it run, it was on power. And uh, so I cleaned the spark plug and I'm gonna do a little oil change on it. And then we're gonna, I gotta change the, the pull cord on the push mower to the self-propelled one. And then we're gonna see if we can get this thing running right and working right. Cause it's about that time to start cutting the grass. Reason why I got a push mower is because I ain't really got a, that big of a yard and I'm renting, so I don't really need uh, a riding mower yet. But anyways, this is the little push mowers we're working with. Got this one. They they both got the same motors on them. Go focus. See that one's just a push. That's the push mower, and that's the self-propelled one. I actually got this one for free. Okay, well I got both of them for free. This was at my mom's house, and then some guy I used to work at gave me this one, and uh, it didn't run, and it's got a problem to where like the wheels right here, they just rub against the deck, so I gotta figure out if I can get those wheels off and put like a, some washers in it to widen it up a little bit. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna get this pull cord off of this mower. I'm gonna put it on this one, cause this one broke, and uh, Use an old rusty, old rusty spark plug that's been around for who knows how long. That probably ain't really helping much on the power. And uh, yeah, we'll get back with y'all here in a second and uh, see what we're working with. So it looks like it's gonna be a lot more trickier than just taking the pull cord off. Looks like I might have to take this whole top piece off because the pull cord's actually riveted in there. So I might mess up two little push mowers, but we're gonna find out. Uh, I don't know what all I'm gonna take off. I think it's just gonna be these two bolts. Probably the fuel line right there. I don't know, I guess we'll figure it out. Well, it looks like just, oh, there's another one back there. You can see it right there. So that means there's probably another one up under there somewhere. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But I'm gonna put y'all back on the time lapse and then we're gonna get it figured out.
guys, so all I had to do to get this off was, uh, I did have to end up taking these bolts off right here. Cause I guess somehow it was still letting it come off or not letting it come off, but, oh, and there's the other bolt that we had to take off. Okay, so you do have to take the, the gas tank off to actually get this whole thing off. I was, or that whole thing off. I was trying to get the whole thing off all together, but, uh, so yeah, you have to take this piece off and then you can get to that last bolt. Uh, there, there is another bolt right here that holds the gas tank on. You gotta take that off as well. It goes in right here. And this. And that screw hole right there. So you do have to take that off to get this off. Plus these three bolts are up top. And then you should just be able to take that off and this right here should come right off. That's the plan. Anyways, we'll get back to you after I get that off and then um, we'll start on the next one. All right guys, so I got this off. It was that last bolt right there. And um, I think I might try to sand around here on that one because that's what gives you your spark because that's your cool pack on this mower. And um, so we're gonna see if that pretty much anything that uh, that I sand or do is gonna make it better than what it was because the thing, like I said, runs like crap. So I'm gonna give that one a try. And uh, still don't know if this is gonna work. Might paint this up, make it look nice even though they can't see it under there. Just make it look like a nice mower again. But yeah. So we're gonna start on this one, take all this off, do the same thing we did to that one, and uh, see if this works or not. Hopefully it does. Sorry about that, but yeah, uh, this right here isn't touching, so we're gonna try to adjust this to uh, make it touch, and uh, see if that makes a difference. And not really sure what this little guy is. Oh, hold on now. So this one, that is going through that, and this one's not even, I wonder what this is. The choke maybe? No idea. We'll f figure that out. We're going to set it up just like this one is. I mean, that one right there don't look very right. It looks like somebody forced that on there. But hey, that one runs, and this one don't, so we're going to try that out. But uh, we're going to get all this put back together. And uh, when we get it together, we're gonna see if it starts. So we'll see y'all when we get that done. I smell gas coming out. That's why they come out here and start doing. Come out here and pull this bad boy all day. Like I'll be in shape by the end of the week. Let's see. Yeah, I know I ain't got a filter in here, but I think, I think what's not causing it to run. Uh, I'm no expert, but. smell old gas. I got new gas in there. 
make sure this is the one I did put gas in. Yeah, I got gas there. Well, I'm gonna keep trying to pull it. Let y'all watch me do all the work. And uh, hope this little thing cranks. I mean, they are free, so didn't really waste no time in them. Or no money, so. I'll be right back up and go. Go get a, uh, something to give it. Give us something to eat on. <laughs> I thought I had some ether, but I guess not. So we're gonna stick a little gas in her. Give her a little sip. Uh, probably gonna go everywhere. Let's see. Look. Oh shit, I forgot. Oh yeah. How'd that taste, babe? You got a nice uh, All right, so it's still not running the best, but hey, it's running now. Uh, I'm gonna put my, I got my mower 9000s on. We're gonna see how she cuts. Cause if we don't cut that little bit of grass, which it wouldn't do before. So we're gonna see if it cuts this grass now. Um, I'm gonna set y'all up and let y'all see how it cuts. I think I sharpened the blades last time I was messing with this thing. I don't know. But uh, anyways, hopefully it cuts nice. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how it does.
So I would say she cuts pretty dang good. Now, I'm surprised because, like I said, I mean, I know you can't really tell on camera. But maybe a little stripe action right here. Uh, but nah, it's doing all right. It's still got a skip in it. Most of it might be the spark plug. Go to the local hardware store and see what we can find with a spark plug. I don't really know what kind of takes, but I'm sure it's got some kind of part number on it or something. Or it's probably already taken off over the years, but uh, yeah, it runs all right. Still, still got a miss in it. So I feel like a, a spark plug will fix that up. And then, oh, and let me tell you, she on that good gas. She's on that good gas. She got the old 93. So, treating her right. So, that's fancy for these things. This one right here, I might go ahead and, don't, well, I guess they don't sell these pull cords separately. I guess I had to buy a whole new piece. I like to have both of them going. Get the old fiance to come out here and mow with me. Set her sticking in the house all day. Give her something to do. Uh, but nah, I'd call that a success. A will it start? Just a little bit of gas. About a half a cup of gas, actually, not just a little bit on accident. But hey, you got it going. That's all that matters. But anyways, uh, thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be doing a bunch of different videos kind of like this. It's just going to be all over the place, really. But mainly, Mustang stuff. That's just when I get the money to buy parts. Because parts for these cars are not expensive. And uh, I'm not rich, so... Anyways, that'll do it for today. Thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.